Hi guys, Tom Hunt here in the kit room. I uh, had a question on my YouTube channel asking uh, how I fix uh, soft plastic lures after pike attacks. Uh, so yeah, they've got big teeth, lots at the front on the inside of the roof of the mouth, lots of big ones on the bottom jaw that tend to slash baits a lot. And yeah, soft baits tend to get a bit of a hammering. There is a way that you can get a bit of extra life out of them depending on where those slash marks are, are though. Um, first one is, you can buy little bottles, they've got like a little screw top and it's almost like a little paintbrush on the inside. Uh, it's like a gluey resin type stuff that sticks them back together. It's good, but it is expensive. I think a lot of them are kind of seven to 10 quid for a little bottle. Um, I use the tried and trusted old technique of a butter knife and a lighter. So this is how we fix pike lures that have been smashed up. So I've got a 14 centimeter Ricky the Roach here. Um, you can probably see on the top there, there's quite a few slash marks here and there's one big one that's opened right up. So yeah, if I wanna try and fix that one, uh, this is how we do it. So take a butter knife, take a lighter. You can obviously see where I've done this before. It's don't put this back in the kitchen afterwards. But basically, get your lighter on there, um, hold it in the tip, and you're just looking to kind of get the heat right up. And norm I normally keep it in for about sort of 10, 10 seconds or so, and you're just looking to get that butter knife nice and hot. Turn it round, a little bit of extra heat on there. And all it does is it momentarily melts the rubber either side of that slash mark. And then when you put it in like this, so I've got my gap there, I'm gonna stick him straight in. I can see it smoking. I leave it in just for a second, leave it in, and it's gonna momentarily melt either side of that slash mark. I, I want that, that um, I want it to melt. Then when I pull it out, you push it nice and close together again, and that is what glues it back together. So you're effectively using, you're, you're effectively remelting the rubber and then reconstituting it. So I'll just let that dry for a second. But as we can see, if I put the pressure on it, open it up, these slash marks there open up, but that one is absolutely fine now. So there you go guys, super quick, super easy. Uh, just that way to get that last bit of life out of them. Once they're shredded a bit too far, I tend to throw them away and start on a new one. But um, yeah, nice little tip for you guys. Enjoy your fishing. See you in the next one.